Hey folks, how are we doing today? This is Steve with Backyard Fed. If this is the first time you've been to our channel, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can stick with us and we're going through a lot of good stuff this year. Alright, just want to go over a couple things with you. I got a few things planted. I went ahead and I picked up these blackberry bushes here. I just picked those up from up at the Home Depot. Um, believe it or not though, pretty healthy looking plants. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. I actually have a, another blackberry bush and some raspberries coming from Rain Tree. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is because I got my delivery from Fast Growing Trees. As you can see here, the blueberries here. Got six of them. Got a Morning Star, a Toro, and three pink lemonades and aurora um now i wanted to let you guys know first off with fast growing trees i've heard nothing but wonderful things about them but my go with these guys has been a little difficult um i had ordered my first purchase i had ordered four fruit trees and three things of blueberries I called and I added the three pink lemonades to my order and everything went just fine there well after some consideration a little bit more research and stuff the one apple tree that I ordered it's a black Arkansas apple tree and it does not self pollinate like all the other fruit trees I got are self pollinators my neighbor has an apple tree right next door so I figured I'd possibly be able to use that as a pollinator. I wasn't able to find out what kind of apple tree that was. So I did the research and I needed one of a couple different kinds of apples. So I called them back and I ordered again and I got a honey crisp. Well, when I ordered that honey crisp, somehow or another, that turned into a big giant fiasco where they canceled my entire order reordered stuff and lost part of my order so i had to get all that situated and everything but like my blueberries when they came they came in two boxes that look just like these three here but smaller obviously and my one pink lemonade blueberry i didn't even know it was in the box i thought it was shorted one because it was literally shoved in there underneath the other blueberries and just smashed and falling out of the pot. Um, I don't know if that was FedEx's fault or if it was their fault, but I was not happy about that. Same thing kind of happened with the trees. Like this right here, that's the honey crisp apple that I had, had to order there. That was the cause of my entire dilemma, unfortunately. Over here, this is my Northern Star Cherry Tree. This one here, right now, it's a bad time of the day. I got a lot of shadow over here. This actually gets quite a bit of sun in the afternoon, and it gets all the morning time sun. So there's going to be enough sun over here for these guys. I had to mention when they get a little taller, this chicken coop won't matter. But this here is a black Arkansas apple. I'm actually pretty excited about those. They're supposed to be awesome baking apples. Right here, that is the Rainier, Peer, Rainier Peach Tree. Um, I actually had one of these back in Jackson, Michigan when I was living down there and grew some good peaches. So I'm pretty excited about having that again. This one right here, this is my pear tree. And it is called a, what's this called? Or no, Rainier Peach. That was wrong, that's not a rear. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Rainier Peach tree, I guess. That's the pear tree. All right, but as you all can see, these leaves and stuff on here, it's got enough green where I think we're gonna be okay. But this thing's really kind of wilted and it was buried under other trees in there and smashed just like just like the one blueberry bush. So hopefully this one's gonna pull through. 
I've still got to go through and I got to put the wood chips and everything down and get them buried in. I'm just taking the first couple days and I really want to get them watered in real good. My, chick, my chicks are mad at me right now. Poor ladies are actually stuck in their coop. I had, them, had to close them off from their little run out here because I tore down the fence to get these trees and stuff in here. So I'm going to do a little bit of working on that this afternoon. Now, I wanted to apologize. I know I was going to do a an opening with you guys. And I was going to let you see how everything came out and all the trees and blueberries and everything. But the weather here yesterday was just horrific. Like, we've had nothing but nice weather. It's been in the high 40s high 50s it's just been wonderful but yesterday we got the shipment in and it decided to start raining and so i want to get them in the ground as fast as possible and well started snowing started sleeting wind starts blowing and it was chaotic to say the say the best i guess so yeah these are the boxes that the trees came in um, there was two trees to each one, but as you can see, when you got that whole tree, it's in a little tiny box like that. It's not horrible, but they're kind of smushed. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like the weather, all those teepees and stuff I showed you, I got one left standing. Everything else got blew down by the wind, and it was just horrible yesterday. So I do apologize about not doing the open box and stuff with you. Um, but like I said, we should have a lot going on this year, I'm getting the perennials and stuff in now. I've got all my plants and stuff underneath the grow lights. We're getting quite a few of those already sprouting. That's why I've got them under the grow lights. I think I have all of those weeds out of this garden. So I'm going to wait until Monday before I put the wood chips back and stuff like that and get it ready to actually plant. But as you know, if you've seen this video the other day, this thing was just jam packed full of those star Bethel hams. It was horrible. I literally spent a day and a half in here crawling on my knees, digging out each individual piece. So hopefully, hopefully God willing, all of it's gone. And I'll be able to get some stuff planted here pretty soon. But, folks, that's really all I have for you. Like I said, I just wanted to let you know what we've been up to yesterday and today. So that's what we've got. And like I said, give us a thumbs up if you like the content that we've been putting out. We'll be putting out more. Um, subscribe to the channel and push the little bell icon. I'll let you know when we're doing some other stuff. Until next time, folks, God bless. Let your backyards feed you.